Welcome guys. So I opened up a box uh, the other day and I found a complete mess in it. All the cards were mixed up and uh, I find this just unacceptable. So maybe you have the same problem and you prefer your box to be well organized. Okay, things are where they ought to be and you want to keep everything tidy. So today I'm going to show you a simple way to do that, especially when you have cards in your game. And we are going to make a holster. So let's go, let's jump into it. Lost, what felt like it all in a game. Every man I've measured out to hurt me before I could ever feel safe. Great fair union. So open a blender and before we play into blender, we are going to pick up all the necessary measures for our project. So first start by measuring your cardboard. In my case, it was um, half a millimeter in, dia in uh, thickness, all right? Measure the height of your deck of cards, its width and its length. Make sure you add twice the thickness of your cardboard at the end of every measurement. All right, so let's go ahead and start the project. So for that, I'm going to add a cube by pressing Shift A. Once it's done, I'm going to copy and paste all those measurements to alter the dimensions of my cube. So I'm going to start with the height, control C everything, paste it on the Z dimension, okay, copy the width, paste it on the Y dimension, copy the length and paste it on the X dimension. Once it's done, I'm going to press Ctrl A to apply the scale. All right. Now we have our closed deck holster for our deck of cards. I'm going to move that object on the Z axis, set the pivot point to face, set, uh, set sorry, the snap element to face and set the pivot point to active element. So the active element is going to be our holster. I'm going to grab it on the Z axis, hold down the control key on the A4 paper and left click to confirm. Okay. I'm going to rename that object to holster by double clicking and typing in the name. All right. I'm going to enter edit mode by pressing tab. Select those three edges. All right. Press V to, to rip them. Okay. Now that it's done, I'm going to select that face. And as you can see, it is now completely independent from the rest of the mesh. All right, so let's shift H, sorry, for hide everything else than the selection. Okay, select all the edges and make sure by shift clicking until you get a white line that the bottom edge is the active element in Blender. All selected elements are in orange and one appears in white and it is the active element, hence the pivot point set to active element. So now I'm going to rotate all those edges on the Y axis by 90 degrees minus and press enter. Alt H to unhide everything. W to access the specials menu and remove all doubles. 
All right, beforehand, if we could move that face independently, that was because Blender created two vertices here on top of each other. Now it's not the case anymore because we have removed all doubles from our mesh. Okay, now I'm going to select that edge, go back into object mode, open the end panel, copy, well, I could just over, hover the mouse over a dimension, press Ctrl C, all right, go back into edit mode, select that edge, extrude it on the X axis and Ctrl V to paste the dimension I copied, add a minus, press the minus key on your keyboard and press enter. And now we know if we go into mesh display, tick the length box that we have extruded, extruded that edge to the correct dimension. Okay, now I'm going to select that face. All right, extrude it to any value select those two edges, go into top orthographic view, press Ctrl B to bevel those edges, all right, don't go to the end, leave a little margin of one to two millimeters, scroll up the mouse until you get a nice rounded shape, okay, go back into perspective view, Go into face select mode, select that face, set the snap element to vertex, keep the pivot point to the active element, so that face is the active element, and it's going to snap, so I'm going to grab, constrain it on the Z axis, and snap by holding down the control key to a vertex on the ground. Okay, and left click to confirm. Now select everything by pressing A twice again and remove doubles and 16 vertices were removed. Okay. Just make sure while you're doing all this that this icon isn't uh, pressed, okay? Because as you can see, it automatically merges vertices, move to the same location. So when you rip or when you extrude things, it's going to merge all the vertices. So it could be a good thing in the last case, for instance, if I activate it, grab on Z, it automatically merged all the vertices. So we don't have to remove the doubles, it did it automatically. All right, but I want to have more control, so I usually press W and remove doubles. All right, now let's delete the bottom face and we'll be able to see right through our holster, okay? Duplicate, select those two faces by shift clicking them, all right? duplicate them by using shift D, make sure the um, 3D cursor is at the center of the scene, all right? And now by pressing Control M for mirror, it's going to ask for a mirror axis. In our case, it's going to be the X axis. Uh, right, but the pivot point has to be set to 3D cursor, of course. Control M, X, enter. All right, so I'm going to remove the doubles again. All right, now let's work on the four flaps um, around the holster. Okay, I'm going to extrude that edge on the x-axis until I reach um, this uh, edge, okay? Select that face, hide everything else, 
add a loop cut by pressing Ctrl R. Grab that loop cut, loop cut, all right. Snap it to a border. You see, if we had uh, that option enabled, it would have merged the vertices. But we want to retain that cut because now we are going to grab it on the x-axis by one millimeters minus. All right. Now let's select the bottom edge, move it on the z-axis by one millimeter, select that vertex, grab it on the z-axis by one millimeter minus. All right. So now we have a shape that will avoid all the rubbing that could occur when occur when you open or close the flap okay so go go into edge select mode control plus to extend the selection or rather face select mode okay duplicate that flap make sure the 3d cursor is the pivot point Control M to mirror that duplicate on the X axis. Reselect the other flap. So we have both flaps selected. And now Control uh, Shift D first, of course. Sorry, Shift D. And now let's Control M everything on the Y axis. Select everything. Remove doubles. OK just one thing as you can see some faces appear black and some gray let's resolve everything by going into the tools panel and under shading uvs press or rather click on recalculate all right and the shading will now be consistent okay now we are almost done but we need a glue flap so for that i'm going to select this edge v to to rip it okay select all those faces so there are many options i could use shift g and select coplanar okay or i could use uh, if i select this face control shift the opposite face all right, I have selected all the faces in between my selection. Okay, let's hide everything else. Go into edge select mode. Make sure the bottom edge is the active element and that it appears in white. Make sure the pivot point is set to active element. And now let's rotate everything on the X axis by 90 degrees. All right. Alt H to unhide everything and remove doubles just in case. All right. Now grab this edge on the Y axis by the thickness of your paper. All right. Grab Y 0 0.5 minus. All right. And now let's extrude on Y by the thickness. So the dimension is still in the clipboard. So I just have to press Ctrl V and press Enter. OK, so now we have a flap that will go around that surface and glue everything. Okay, our holster is basically finished, but now we have to indicate to uh, the paper model add-on that all those edges are going to be folded edges. So to do that, we are going to fold everything. And I'm going to select that edge first, press Ctrl plus, shift click twice on this edge so it becomes it becomes the active element rotate everything on the x-axis by 90 degrees minus all 
All right. Let's do the same for all the other um, folded edges. All right. Rotate on the x axis 90 degrees. Okay. Rotate on the z axis 90 degrees. Rotate on the z axis 90 degrees minus. Okay. Rotate 90 degrees. Rotate 90 degrees. Okay. Uh, uh, rotate on Y 90 degrees minus. Rotate on Y 90 degrees. Rotate on Y 90 degrees. Rotate on Y 90 degrees minus. Okay, so everything is folded and that's perfect. Okay, um, one last detail. We want to add uh, a circle right here so we can use easily our thumb to open that flap. So I'm going to select that edge, move the cursor to that selection by pressing Shift S, go into object mode, Shift A to add a circle, okay, make it a uh, radius inferior a, a diameter a, a diameter inferior to the thickness uh, to the height of our deck of cards so I'm going to add 18. it in and 18 okay so just make sure it's inferior its diameter is inferior to um, the height of your of your deck of cards okay so uh, there's a margin right here. All right, so now let's move it on the Z axis. Select that circle, shift select the deck of cards, go into edit mode, select only the top face, hide everything else, go into top orthographic view, orthographic view okay press space and search for the knife project tool and it has projected the sh this shape onto that surface according to the view we were in all right so i'm going to select that face and delete it and now we have our circle. I'm going to delete that one. We don't need it anymore. And our deck of cards will have its nice holster. Okay. Almost done. Go in the tools panel under the paper modal tab. Select your holster and click unfold. All right, if you don't have the paper modal tab, go into File, User Preferences, all right. Under the Add-ons tab, type in Paper and tick the Import Export, Export Paper Model Add-on and save User Settings, okay. So now select your holster, click Unfold, and click Export Paper Model. Here, just make sure that at the bottom left of this panel, just make sure that the scale is set to a ratio of 1 to 1. OK, and select the output format. In my case, it's going to be PDF. Okay, 
And when you're ready and you have selected your folder, click export paper model. And let me show you quickly the result. Um, this one. Okay, that's what we get. So it's ready to be printed and uh, cut, glued and assembled. And you will have a snug fit for your particular deck of cars. So that was the design part of this tutorial. In the next video, I'll uh, provide you with an add-on that will allow you to, uh, well, make just any holster for any object within seconds. And if you're like me and you have a cutting plotter, things will take just a few minutes to tidy up a whole box. So stay tuned. Please like this video if you liked it. If you have any problem, please let me know in the comment section below and subscribe if you want to be notified when a new video comes online. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you next time.